You ran a little short on your spring break vacation, so you put $1,000 on your credit card. So you're out having fun, you figure, what's a $1,000? Um, I'll just put it on my credit card. And you also figure that you can afford uh, the minimum payment of $20 per month. So you can pay that amount, you say it's okay, um, and you charge uh, the $1,000 amount to your credit card. The interest rate on the credit card is 1.5% per month, uh, which is around uh, average for most credit cards. How long will you need to pay off the $1,000? So here we need to, uh, we're looking for, for N, we're looking for T on the formula or N uh, on the financial calculator, but we're, we're going to just uh, use the financial calculator to answer this question. But first we need to identify what we are dealing with and the best way to do that is just to draw a timeline to be able to know when the cash flows are happening and what each cash flow represents. So if you were to draw the timeline, we have time zero and then we have one, two, three, four, um, and till the end of the timeline. At time zero, so today, you charge $1,000 on your credit card. So this would be a cash inflow to you today. Okay, so the $1,000, you charged it. Um, the, 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 the credit card company paid uh, for whatever uh, you wanted to buy on, on your behalf. And so the $1,000 is a cash uh, inflow uh, to you today. And then after that, uh, you say, you know, you can afford the minimum payment of $20 per month. So that $20 is going to be a cash outflow to you. You're going to be sending $20 each month to the credit card company so I'm gonna input it or you know show it here as um, a negative number so negative uh, 20 20 dollars then the second month negative 20 dollars then negative 20 dollars so here it just shows inflow outflow you got a thousand dollars today so that's an inflow uh, and then you're paying twenty thousand dollars each month later on so that would be an outflow to you so uh, because the $1,000 happens earlier on the timeline, that is a present value, okay? So, so $1,000 is your present value. That negative 20, okay, that's a cash outflow to you and it happens every period, so that would be your P and T. And then uh, we do know that the, uh, that the company or the credit card company charges 1.5% per month, so 1.5 would be your I over Y, and here you're trying to look for N, so you compute N. So this is what we need to input. $1,000, or first let's clear all our work, so second FV, second CEC. $1,000 is PV, negative 20 is the PMT, 1.5 is di over y compute n so n we have 93.11 93.11 what okay the payment is made every month the i over y that we have used or the interest rate is a monthly number so the n is going to be monthly so this is 93.11 months to know uh, how much uh, we have, we, how long we're gonna be paying for this one thousand dollars in uh, in years, all you have to do is take this number ninety three point eleven and divide it by twelve, which gives us uh, seven point seventy six seven seventy five nine nine three. So let's say seven point seventy six years. So it'll take us. Um, just a little less than eight years to be able to pay that $1,000 if we only make the minimum payment of $20.